Hi guys, it's me, Sharon of Creative Glam. Today I'm going to do one of my favorite things. These are the things that I use on a regular basis and have been for a few years now. So I decided when I re-upped on my supply as it got low, I thought I'd share with you my favorite things. Let's get started. Starting out with snacks. I got these snacks from Easy's. I got the these from Home Goods. That's bread, chimichurri, chilies, and lime. Say that 10 times fast. It's all organic. And it's one of my favorite uh, snacks with some salsa. They're uh, almost uh, like a Dorito, but a healthier, a healthier type of Dorito. They were $1.99, and you can get them at Home Goods. They, uh, it's a flatbread as opposed to a corn tortilla shell. These are uh, chili and lime, so they taste a little bit like a a, a a Dorito, a chili lime Dorito, but it's a um, organic flatbread. They're very good. They're very tasty. I'm a snacker. I like to watch TV as I snack, um, watching uh, How to Get Away with Murder and a bowl of these. I'm good. <laughs> and next, you can also get another one of my snacks that I get from Home Goods. La Pastisseria is, is an Italian candy bar. It's a soft nougat with amaretto sprinkled across the top and inside hazelnuts. Yeah, it's almond and hazelnuts. Very good candy. It's $2.99. As I said, these are things that I eat on a regular basis and uh, I pick them up whenever I go into Home Goods and I put them in my little stash of snacks. The La Pastisseria. So when, you, when you're, um, they're usually up near the register. When you see these, check them out. They're very good. The, the Promises and the La Pastisseria. These are two of my favorite snacks, and they come from Home Good. And these are my teas. This is my organic three ginger tea. I get this tea from um, the Vitamin Shop. It's an organic ginger tea. My Puka three ginger tea is a warming swirl of organic ginger. Three different types of ginger with a hint of turmeric. I love this tea. I drink it sometimes in the morning, but I usually have a, a, a cup every evening before I go to bed. I know ginger is supposed to be somewhat uplifting. Um, it's also supposed to settle the stomach, but that's not why I drink it. I drink it because I just like the way it tastes. You get, you 20, get 20 sachets for about eight bucks. I love ginger tea. I put raw honey in it and fresh lemons, and it is awesome. Of course, nothing's better than just fresh ginger. I use that too. Um, but sometimes the fresh ginger, I can't always find organic ginger versus these sachets are always organic and you know, sometimes it's easier. The Puka three ginger tea. I love it. Uh, let's move on to my nail polish. Some of the nail polishes that I've been wearing here lately, I'm um, actually one is Orly and one is Essie. I've been wearing, I've been wearing this one. This is the one that I currently have on Orly. It's called Speakeasy, and that's what I'm currently wearing on my nails, other than my ring finger, because that's gold. But the rest of the nails is the Speakeasy by Orly. And I love the color. I know we are still technically into winter, but I've been wearing what would be considered spring colors all winter. Um, I don't know, just really been into the light colors here for the last few years. I've kind of been doing that. I did do a little red polish um, towards the holidays and towards the end of the year last year. And I love purples of every hue. <laughs> but this is a, a purpley pink with a little shimmer to it, which I'm sure you can't see the shimmer that's being picked up, but it's really quite pretty. That's probably what I'm gonna put on next. I do my nails myself. I recently cut my nails down. I cut them back. I try to cut them back, but maybe every three months now. I used to didn't cut them at all and they would get too long, but now I cut them back about every three months. These are my natural nails. I do them myself. Sometimes I'll go to the salon, but I, I do them better myself because I've been doing them all my life. So my next color that I'm gonna put on is probably gonna be this Essie shimmery pink. Love them. And there's something here I've been doing for a while now is Scentbird. I'm sure you all have heard of Scentbird. 
I, I like Scentbird quite a bit. You get to try out different colognes. I usually go to Ulta. I usually go to Ulta and um, smell what I like. And then I put them in the, in the queue. And I fill it out that way for like six months in advance. Um, this one here is Gucci, uh, is it Gucci? It's C. I don't know who it's by. Oh, let me get it out. Giorgio Armani, excuse me. It's <laughs> This one here is Giorgio Armani, C. Eau de Parfum. And it comes in the, uh, in the, um, the little case. I don't particularly care for the little case that it comes in. I find it annoying. It gets on my nerves trying to open it and close it and open it and close it. Then I have um, Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. <clears throat> this was not one of my favorite scents. That's why you can tell it's, it's practically full. It is not one of my favorite scents. I'm probably going to give it to my daughter. I'm not that crazy about it. It's okay, but it's not... I was able to give it a try because I used Scent Bird, but it's not something that I would order again. And I have quite a few of these. This one's Gucci Flora. This is one of my favorite ones. I, mm, I love the way that smells. Um, I'm not wearing it today, but it is one of my go-to. All three of them, well, all both of them are. The Giorgio Armani C and the Gucci Flora. Those are two of my favorite. And uh, currently I've been on this kick with uh, Mona by Yves Saint Laurent. That one right now is probably my favorite. I mean, I don't know if anything would take the place of my theory muggler or even my um, Juicy Couture, because I still am a Juicy Couture. The Juicy Noir, I still love it. I still wear them. But those are some of my scent burn. Then I redid my lotion, my hand lotion. This lotion is the, uh, so this is the A La Maison de Provence, fresh sea salt, moisturizing shea butter and argan oil. The traditional French formula and it's paraben free. I love the way it smells and I love how it leaves my hands very soft. So I keep this on my night. My white pumpkin candle and a cup of my three ginger tea. That's a part of my evening routine. Well, I think that's about it, guys. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's about it. I want to thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. And don't forget to thumbs up. Have a blessed day. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you next week. Bye.